you up. I know it pumps me up. Welcome everybody, this is BTL Boom Twitch Live bringing you episode 2 and how to play better. And in this episode, we are going to show you on how to rush. This is being brought to you by BTL Green Lantern. He, this is his gameplay. Now we got a lot to get into. Let's get straight into it. In a moment, I'm going to be bringing you up what guns to use. We have your SMGs, your assault rifles, your shotguns, sniper rifles, and what not to use is your heavier LMGs and your knife. Let's get into it. Now your SMGs, they're very light, they're easy to run with, easy to run and gun with, I suggest that. Or you can use an assault rifle, which is what I'm using in this video, I am using the Insanity. It's a little bit heavier than the SMGs, but it still gets the job done. Then you get into your shotguns, which is another light gun to use. You can run, run and gun with it. Uh, one shot kill up close, but not good at range. And then you got your sniper rifles. I only suggest using them when you are quick scoping or aggressive sniping. What not to use, your LMGs, they are very heavy. Uh, you can't hit fire with them. They take too long to ADS. And um, your knife, don't be stupid. Don't rush around with your knife. They are garbage. So with that being said, let's get into what attachments to use in a second. In a brief moment, I'm going to be bringing up a picture on what attachments to use. And we are going to start with foregrip. Foregrip is necessary on SMGs, assault rifles. Um, and what, the, what that does is keep your aim alive, uh, makes you on target, stay on target. You do not want to spray and pray all over the place. Next is extended mags. If you want to go on those high kill streaks, if you want to take out multiple enemies, I'm talking two to three enemies, use extended mags. And this is just for shotguns and SMGs, advanced rifling. Uh, the SMGs and shotguns in this game have terrible range. You put advanced rifling on it, it will make it better. Uh, the only weapon that I know that has pretty good range is the KF-5. Um, you really don't need advanced rifling on that. Um, you can put something like um, suppressor or something on that, but I do not suggest a suppressed SMG. Now let's get into probably the most important part of this um, video, this class setup. Uh, how to rush is the perks. Um, in about five seconds, I'm going to be bringing up a logo about what perks to use, and they're pretty much the same as if you watched my episode one on how to play passive. Uh, let's get right into it. On the first tier, you want to use low profile. What low profile does is it keeps you away from those pesky UAVs that everybody runs. Um, low profile is a great perk to use. Um, perk two. Tier 2 is Blind Eye, and what Blind Eye does, it keeps you away from those sentry guns, those turrets, those paladins, those warbirds, basically AI controlled kill streaks. And let's go to Tier 3, I'm using the wild card for Tier 3 to get two perks on Tier 3, and that is one Blast Impressor, probably one of the most important perks to use um, when you're using your XM movements, boost jumping, boost sliding, um, dodging. You show up on the radar with Blast Suppressor, you do not. And the second one, I like to run as Scavenger because when you're running in the gun and you will go through ammo like crazy. And you do not want to get into a gunfight or a situation where you have about five bullets left. You ain't gonna win. What you can do is if you like the perk one, if you like tier one, if you like to use lightweight, you can take off Scavenger and put lightweight on. Just make sure you watch your ammo. That is for damn sure. And last but not least, let's go right into the score streaks. Now, two of the score streaks you need to use, and then the other one or two, depending on if you use the wild card, you can just have, it's up to you, basically. But first, you need UAV, and check out this. Fail. Anyways, let's get into it. You need UAV with assist points and time, and the other one is system hack with assist points and time. What I like to do is on the UAV, I also like to run threat detection, and on the system hack, I also like to run disable exosuits, and I know Green Lantern likes to run that stuff too. Um, the other two are completely up to you. Um, Green Lantern is using, um, in this gameplay, well, a couple of gameplays, um, he's using the AI-controlled assault drone, um, I believe with rockets, and he's also using the Warbird with aggressor on it, either aggressor or defender. But those are his two ones. He uses the wild card and puts the um, streaker perk on. Now let's talk about tips. How do you rush? Well, it's very hard. The first thing you want to do is clear your mind. Before you don't go just rushing into a game, um, before you start a game, 
just take like a minute and just clear your mind. Um, exhale, inhale, repeat, clear your mind, and then you can get into a game. Now you also want to keep in effect, don't just rush the middle. If you're playing a game like Domination, just don't rush B. Um, I would rush the outskirts of the map and then go inwards. Use cover. There are multiple different buildings you can use for cover. Um, those are great tips. And um, how to win gunfights. Winning gunfights is very important when you're rushing. And there are three different ways that you can win gunfights that Green Lantern does that makes him probably one of the best Call of Duty players that I've played with. I'm not saying he's better than most of the YouTubers out there, but as far as me playing with them, he is one of the best. The first thing he does is he drop shots. Drop shotting is really good when you get into, let's say, a flag with two or three enemies. Most players out there, they expect you to be standing still. And if you're standing still in a gunfight, you are going to lose 99% of the time. But if you drop shot, they are not going to expect it. Their aim will be off, their their eyesight, their reaction time will be off. Drop shot is a great way to win a gunfight. Another way to win a gunfight is strafing left and right. And this is more for assault rifles on long range gun battles. If you're in a long range gun battle, let's say, let's say you're on the map solar and you're um, on C side inside that small building and the other guy is on A side on top of that sniper tower I talked about. Strafing left to right will not only make the enemy's reaction time and their aim be off-centered, you will win the gunfight, I guarantee. And another way to win gunfights is strafing up and down. Not left to right, but up and down. When you jump up and down, it takes the it, it completely surprises the enemy. They they go from aiming to the head to aiming to the building behind you because you're gonna you're up in the air. Um, I have a video on this channel about strafe sniping. That's basically the same thing, but instead of sniping, you're getting your assault rifle kills, your SMG kills. Um, and playing the objective when it comes to running and gunning is key too, because not only does it get you score streaks, but it keeps you from standing in the same spot the whole time. Now I will be um, uploading a video on some of Green Lantern's um, most famous uh, often imitated Russian classes. Um, I believe he uses three to four classes when it comes to Russian. I know he loves using the um, insanity, but he also loves using the speakeasy too. Um, pretty much they're the same except for the weapons. Um, <clears throat> another great tip that you can use is your sensitivity. Now when it comes to your sensitivity, just because one of your favorite or more famous YouTubers use a high sensitivity, it don't mean you should. When it comes to sensitivity, you want to play on a sensitivity that is comfortable for you. Um, I say stay high, but don't go too high that you can't handle it. Basically, if you play in a 10, try to bump up to 11 or 12. If you play on a 4, try to bump up to a 6 to an 8. Basically, don't play on a high sensitivity if you can't handle it. Play on the highest sensitivity that you can handle. I will be also uploading a separate video on how to aim better. And um, for that, there's a couple of different techniques and um, additional buys that you can do. And what I mean by buys is items like control freaks. Um, a controller like a scuff controller, but that's for a different video. As far as Russian, we're going to talk about Russian. And another great tip is to know the map. If you know the map, not only will you know the enemy spawns, you will know the vantage points, you will know the long range points, you will just know everything about the map. You can find a way to get to the middle of the map without going into the middle of the map. Maybe um, patrol the outskirts. Get to know the map. Um, you can do that on a private match, or you can just, I mean, if you want, you can play public matches, know the map that way, but I will admit your KD will probably be low unless you know the maps. That's why I say always go into a private match. That way you can get to know the maps extremely well. Another great tip you can do is utilize your EXO movements. Um, that is also a great way to get around the map. Uh, let's say you're getting shot at. Um, what you want to do is just get the hell away as soon as possible. ASAP, baby. And um, jump in, double jump in, thrust jump in, left to right. Uh, anything to get out of there. 
um, utilize your extra movements. Um, if you see an enemy, um, let's say you see two enemies, um, jump in the air and shoot them because they don't expect it. And that's what I'm saying um, earlier about strafe jumping. Um, it's a great tip, great way to move around the map, a uh, great way to maneuver. Um, and with Blast Suppressor, they're never going to see you. And my final tip for Russian is use a gun you're comfortable with. Whether it's an SMG, an assault rifle, a sniper, um, a shotgun, use a gun you're comfortable with. Just because LEA uses an AK-12 doesn't mean you have to use it. Um, you utilize your skill set and your gun skill with the gun that you want to use. Uh, for example, um, AK-12 has amazing accuracy. Um, the iron sights on the stock AK-12 are decent. The iron sights on the AK-12 rest in peace are amazing. Um, different iron sights on different guns can control your gun skill, can maintain your gun skill. Use a gun you're comfortable with. If you don't like the iron sights, don't use it or put a sight on it. Um, I don't suggest putting a sight on a gun like an AK-12 because I, I like the iron sights, but if you don't like them, don't use it. Um, I know that the ASM-1 and the um, SN-6, they all have good iron sights. I know the HBRA-3 has good iron sights. The IMR and the AR ARX-160 have good iron sights. But don't use a gun if you're not comfortable with it. It's that simple. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe, leave a comment, and if you want to leave the thumbs down, please comment on why. Anyways, this is BTL, really new, boom, Twitch Live, and we'll be back with episode 3 on how to tactical snipe.